<coughs> now, let's deal with capitalism hmm. and capitalization. They are both action words, they are with. And the word capitate is the word eight. Also, the number eight and the word eight. Wow, it is just truly, truly funny to me that they sound alike. So, you can either have ATE or you can have an eight. ATE, they have eight of our brains. They still are eating on our brains. And the eight is life. If anyone rapes you in any form, dealing with your physical form, or either your mentality, or your spirituality, or financially, or emotionally, any kind of Lee, if they are raping you. See, the man name is L.I. Lee. Hmm. If they are raping you, they are taking your life. Dear children, come on and tell what they have done. We see that their children still going strong. They have a house, they have money, they have a car, they are dressed nice. Even when they hide themselves to tell, they still are dressed nice, right? We see these things. Some of them even go into a room where there's nothing on the walls. Well, you can't even tell people live there to tell them. them. To tell that they have taken their lives. So this man is still here, and he is the hunter, and they told the bitch I was going to hunt them down. And who did I find? Hunter. Hmm. And his name is Kusak. I never knew his name. But I knew he was a drug addict. He seemed to have come out fast too. You know, they say, um, traveling the fast road. Wow. Saying that and he is in a car. Mm. Yes, they want me. To. He was saying, see his dark glasses? He is saying, shut the fuck up, you nigger child, or you nigger bitch. That's what they like to call me, you nigger bitch, your mama. And then he is smoking a cigarette as to say, he to say, shut up and go smoke a cigarette. I'm not saying that, saying that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Was it dumb to make me cough because I love it? The bitch has this. So now he is talking about him. Left off. He is talking about him. About, um... The star of the plastic dolls. I guess it even says the plastic dolls ass out the window. And this is must be her hair. Even for a past the doll, they block out the ass. It is a doll. But I guess the doll has an ass too. He is just getting out the car. He is controlling and commanding them to start, go, start, go, go, here, go, there. Wooty woo. So he is the handler, and he hunts people so that he can handle them. Wow. With his cap on, capitalistic bitch. So, he jumps in and out of the car. That is called Street Theater. They do this shit every day, every day, every day, every day. Put his name with Alistair Crowley and see if you find him. Put his name with, uh, uh, what is his name, Maurice Greenberg. See if you find him. I mean, I'm, tired. I'm really tired of finding them because I will never stop. And I know I did a montage of all those who are, have part in um, the rituals of mind control. They have patterns. Their names are here. Their names are there. Um, they are scientists. They discovered this. They discovered that. I was doing a montage to put them in. So I would just cut and, uh, uh, you know, put their faces on um, paint. You know, to get a picture, get it off the internet, go to paint, get a picture, boom. But I was doing so, so many, I just decided to stop because they go on and on and on. They are dragging. They have been dragging on and on and on. And today they might even be too big for us to stop. This shit is big. There's levels to this shit. And this shit goes deeper and deeper and deeper until you get to a depth. 
way, he was just always ready for a show that was beyond any sense of kind of decency. You see, he was ready for a show beyond any sense of dignity. Because they don't have no senses to be dignity. They probably only have senses to see, hear. They don't have the sense of feeling that I know. They're too apathetic to have that sense. Can they taste their food? I don't know. Because when you ever eat people food, it is so fucking bland. It's like, can you guys taste this shit? And then if you go to a restaurant and you want a steak, you better tell them you want that motherfucker cooked till he cannot be cooked anymore. This is how they get worms come out their ass. They love uncooked meat. Why? You can take the Neanderthal out of the cave. But you cannot take the caveman out of the Neanderthal. When they were in the caves, they would eat each other. They didn't care. Just like when they were on the moon. They would eat each other. They didn't care. They would be fucking you and eating you at the same time. Who the fuck does that? Someone who is missing DNA. Someone who only has 12 strands of DNA will do, do stupid shit like that. And now, he has no senses to know that he is being a fucking idiot. Jumping in and out of the car, beating a naked, pregnant, a plastic doll. What if children are there? My daughter showed me a video yesterday. Of this man, and with nothing on but like, um, like thongs or something. But he has like straps going across the back of his drawers in the front. And there is only like a little black piece of leather or something to cover him up there. And he was on a train, like, you know, the public train, maybe New York or something. I don't know because it's inside the train. And he was on a train. And he had no clothes on, just those little pieces of thongs and he began to dance singing his own song and dancing and then there was a little melanated boy right there in the video looking right at him this is what i'm saying they have no respect for our, us they have no respect for our children if i was on the train he did that what make him think i want to see that see that's what i'm saying they think everyone wants to see what they're doing. That's why they're all on TV, all on screen, all in commercials and shit. They throw us in there because they need our energy. And they need our money. So they'll throw us in there. So that we will stay interested. You know? Because now, there is the game. It comes on TV. We watch the game as a family. We also dissect it. Now... We are not watching the game until it comes back on, which will be soon. They are starting to show the previews. It depends on which way the pendulum swings. On the game, I think her name is Kelly. I'm not for sure. But if her name is Kelly, Kelly is also a cold word. Go look up CIA, you will see a blonde hair Kelly. It is for cold word. Because E-L is God, and then there's the two, two uh, uh, L's for the kick-ass God. They have the Y, who they have made a small Y and put it at the end. Who is you, Tay Wafe? And at the beginning, they let you know they have two kick-ass gods and one name. Hmm. Well, they let you know they have a kick-ass God. In the name Kelly, and there's your K for KKK. See, they, they, they have been around, they were called K Zars or some shit. This kind of remind me of the word that they are called K Zars or something, you know. But anyway, so well, now I know that this man is the handler, he comes to keep them under neuro linguistic programming, he shows them what is a fun thing. To keep his foundation going. And if you go and look up the word fun. Say I had a dictionary. They went maybe the late 1800s copyrighted. And 
in the brackets, when you look up a word, it's in a mostly your dictionary, maybe not a fourth grade dictionary, I don't know. But if you look up a word, you look in the brackets, it will tell you where the word derived from. Go and look up fun. Look in the brackets. But I had a better book than that. There were numbers also. At the end of the definition, and then you go to the back of the book and you look up these numbers and there were who knows how many words associated with this one word. Fun means to trick. Fun comes from the word trick and you keep studying. You can find McGillicuddy and the Joker and um then what's the name of that movie? Eyes White Shed. Uh, the one I saw Eyes White Shed. I was like, no, this movie is for someone who is on I said the drug back then, but I forget what it is today. You know? Because to me, some movies, I thought, were made for people who were on drugs. Because it was like here and there and bouncing. Kind of like me, huh? <laughs> yeah, so then all these words would take you to... Eyes Wide Shut. Once you find McGillicuddy and the Joker, it would take you to Eyes Wide Shut. And Bob Marley came to show me these things. He said, did. If it was not for them dying, I would not know the secrets. One day I might know the secrets of the universe. Who knows? I don't need to know and I don't think, but I might need to know the secrets of the universe. Maybe I will bring it back with me from my travels. As I brought this accent back. But I want my own. Maybe with the secrets of the universe, because that's what they are looking for. I can begin to get rid of them. Without, like, killing them with guns and bombs and stuff, because... <laughs> no. There's also a movie dealing with guns and bombs, you know, because they used um, laser to fight them when they were on the moon to get rid of them. But the stories just get sadder and sadder and sadder. Like they get deeper and deeper and deeper. Like you go to the moon. You are deeper. Like down south from Pilates. And then you go to the Mars. Go to Mars. And you are like down south. Mars. You know. I saw how they show the planets. But I don't get into it. Because I don't know if they're telling me the truth or not. So I don't play with that shit. I just go by the movies I see. I prefer to go by my own mind than this. Plus, in my mind, I have original thoughts. I have thoughts other people do not have. And that's what my Abba said. You know you have the DNA of Yute Wabe if you have original thoughts. And that wasn't like when he comes to me as an entity, but in the class... He spoke on the original thoughts. He said, we do not even have an one original thought in our head. That's what he said. You do not even have one original thought in your head. Wow, I had to start thinking. I had to go upstairs real quick in my head to see if I could find an original thought. Everything in my head that I saw came from books. My experiences, now some of my experiences were very, very original. But still, those thoughts was in my head. He's a Jeffite too, you see that? Wow. Um, yeah, the original thoughts were in my head. Not original thoughts, original, you know, like things that happened to me. Some things happened to me when I talked to other people, you know, like traveling. When I was little, it never happened to them. So I saw that that was original. But it appeared every thought I had belonged to them. Even how to raise my children. You know, you wake up in the morning, your children turn five, you wake up in the morning, you get them dressed for school, or maybe they go in the afternoon, you know? 
when they're in kindergarten into heaven. Then when they are in first grade, you wake up in the morning, you get them dressed, you come to hell, you make sure they get to school safe. Most people do. That was their thoughts to teach my children like that. And all the time, in my history book, that I read for many, many years until I turned to a teenager, I really stopped reading it. When I was 11, my entity seemed to have left or, well, I didn't know what happened and I didn't want to go that way, but I was more so and started to want to be like earthlings, you know, because it was way more of them than it was of me. It's like I was the only one here. And I would read in the Bible all the time when Moses said, Moses' son told him, I feel like an alien in my own land. As I got older, I know now that this is my land, and boy, do I feel like an alien in it. Wow. Hmm. So every thought I had was this. None was original. So then I began to search my culture. And put pictures together. Is how I am to raise my children. And with the teachings of my Abba. And my Abba say you cannot follow him. Be a student. You can be a supporter. But you cannot be a follower or a student. And you do not study. So when my Abba spoke. He said we are even to study what he says. Because trust no man you know. So my Abba began to speak. I began to study. I found my culture. And I find my Abba, my oldest is five or six. More likely, I think she was six. Because I had three children. So I think she was six. Because it was six, three, in the baby. Yeah, they are three years apart. So, but I had a baby in between there and she died. Um. Yeah, and so... I began to raise my children. I pulled my daughter out of school. I began to teach her myself. And I started in the You Are Not a Nigger book. That book has been changed today. Because they changed everything. Although the word says I do not change. She had peace, Carmel. And that motherfucking day. I don't know what he looks like. He can be in my face one day. I would not know. Because they have everyone on their side. See? They have everyone in their circle, locked inside their circle, and they cannot get out. To even come and say, you are telling the truth about this demon bitch. She's locked in there too, she is so stupid. See how they have the demon locked inside also? The demon, see they have you upside down. This is your head and your feet, because the world is upside down. See, the world is a circle. In my nature holds us in the world. So... You are standing on your head, your arms and your legs, and you do not even know why you are stuck in this circle. You are in the belly of the whale. And who is the whale? Hmm. I found that too. There. There. And we keep their bellies full. When they say, oh, I am hungry, I want to eat. They don't, most of them don't even have to go in the kitchen to cook. Someone cooks for them. Or they just send someone out to get whatever they want to eat and they can do that. They don't have to budget their money and say, oh, well, we cannot have takeout no more for the rest of the month because we have no money for it. They have people so stuck on full steps. I know, I was there. Now I have to use cash. It, but my mind always flows back to my stamps, food stamps. When I worked my way off of welfare, my mind did not go back to my food stamps. I didn't give a deal. Take those motherfuckers. Because I am not supposed to lean on you anyway. I am a sovereign being. Sovereign beings do not lean on people who are not sovereign. 
I am a civilized person. I am a civilizer. I come from a lineage of civilizers. These motherfuckers come from a lineage who are uncivilized. Even the daddy ham was uncivilized. He fucked his own dad. He raped. He raped his own Abba Noah. He learned it from them. That is another story. Love you, Robes.